friends, a blessed day to you all. Welcome to our daily reflection from the Archdiocese of Port of Spain in the Caribbean. We invite you to join us now as we bring this transformative power of God's word into our own reality at this time. Come, Spirit of Truth. Come, Holy Spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew 23, verses 1 to 12. Addressing the people and his disciples, Jesus said, The scribes and the Pharisees occupy the chair of Moses. You must therefore do what they tell you and listen to what they say, but do not be guided by what they do, since they do not practice what they preach. They tie up heavy burdens and lay them on men's shoulders. But will they lift a finger to move them? Not they. Everything they do is done to attract attention, like wearing broader phylacteries and longer tassels, like wanting to take the place of honor at banquets and the front seats in the synagogues, being greeted obsequiously in the market squares and having people call them rabbi. You, however, must not allow yourselves to be called rabbi, since you have only one master and you are all brothers. You must call no one on earth your father, since you have only one father and he is in heaven. Nor must you allow yourselves to be called teachers, for you have only one teacher, the Christ. The greatest among you must be your servant. Anyone who exalts himself will be humbled, and anyone who humbles himself will be exalted. Jesus, our foundation. Call no man father, teacher, rabbi. How many times have we heard someone say, I left the church or parish because of this priest? How many have based their faith journey and commitment on the example of priests, bishops, cardinals, popes. On the flip side, how many have known persons that parish hop, chasing one priest or the next? Jesus reminds us that we must be obedient to the teachings of the church, regardless of the example set by those who are commissioned to lead, when he says, do everything they tell you. Priests are not gods, but human like us all in need of prayer, support, and compassion, for they bear hefty weight on their shoulders. Yes, there are many scandals facing Holy Mother Church today, but let us be reminded that the Church's foundation is Jesus, and His teachings are infallible. Our Lady of Chestakova, may the marks on your beautiful face be a reminder that the gates of hell shall not prevail. We bow our heads. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it's now and ever shall be, a world without end. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. May He come long upon you, remain with you, preserve you from that evil one, and grant you everlasting life. And the people of God say, Amen. Do have a blessed and pleasant day.